I'm curious where you stand on advanced driver assistance systems, like the ones in this article from Ars. Humans intervened every nine minutes in AAA test of driver assists. Basically, if you read this article right here, it basically says that the level two type of self-driving, this means things like lane keeping assist, um, adaptive cruise control, the one that actually does the low speed one, so-called uh, stop and go cruise control, you had to intervene or a human had to intervene a bunch of times, basically like at least once every nine minutes. And this is due to the fact that unlike level three and above, which you can actually take your hands off the wheel and let the actual car do everything, uh, these require more human assistance. So I have a lot of those safety systems and my wife's car has it too. And yes, they are not great. They are very, very helpful in a lot of situations, but there are situations where it does not handle. One of them that they actually said in this article, which I'll link in the description, is somebody just cutting in front of you, right? And then you have to basically tap the brakes because the car won't do it automatically fast enough. Uh, there are other situations where I've seen that if I'm going and the car in front of me stops like fairly short, my car will take a lot longer than I would to actually break. So I don't think level two self-driving is actually the way to go. I think these are a stopgap to like level three and above. I am looking forward to the day of not having to actually drive a car myself because driving is monotonous. When you're young, you're all about like, oh, freedom. I love driving a car. And as you get older, you're like, driving a car sucks. And I'd love somebody else to do that for me. What do you think? Check the article out and let me know.